How is it going, everybody? You're watching Then About Tech, and as you know, Apple's just unveiled iOS 16 yesterday in WWDC 22, and of course, I'm already running it right here on my iPhone, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know. So first, let's talk about release dates, so developer beta, public beta, and of course, the official final release. Of course, let's talk about compatibility list, so which iPhones are compatible with the latest major software update from Apple, and of course, let's also talk about my experience running iOS 16 beta 1 right here on my iPhone, so let's talk about bugs, apps crashing, overall performance, battery life, if the iPhone is overheating, and everything else you need to know, especially if you're thinking about updating to iOS 16 beta. So, without further ado, let's begin. So, let's start talking about release dates, and it's very important that you understand that there are actually three types of iOS versions. We have the developer beta, we have the public beta, and we have the official final stable version that's released to the public. And right now, at the moment of recording this video, we just have the developer beta, which was released yesterday, June 6th, 2022. And we'll still have just the developer beta for a few more weeks, as Apple told us that they'll only release the public beta in July. And it's very important that you understand the difference because the developer beta can only be used by developers, as the name suggests. And the public beta can be used by anyone who wants to use the beta, but for free, without being a developer. And it's very important that you understand this because those are both betas. So right now, the developer beta is, of course, the first version. It's beta one, it's full of bugs and problems, and it's made for developers. And the public beta is also an unstable version. Even though it's free and everyone, absolutely anyone, can actually update their iPhones, of course, if you have a compatible iPhone, and I'm gonna talk about that in a second, but it's important that you understand that it's also a beta. So it has bugs, it has problems, it's not fully stable. The only full official stable version of iOS will come in September. So we have three important dates right here. Developer beta out right now only for developers. Public beta will be out in a month. We're expecting it to be released in the first week of July, but again, it's still a beta, still unstable, and we have the official final version of iOS 16, which we expect to be released around uh, 20th of September, 21st, 22nd, pretty much uh, second half of September. Okay, now that you understand the release dates and how it works, let's talk about compatibility. Let's talk about which iPhones are compatible and can be updated to iOS 16. And Apple has updated the list, has changed the list of compatible iPhones, and has eliminated a few iPhones compared to iOS 15. So now, if you wanna update to iOS 16, you need to have at least an iPhone 8 or 8 Plus and up. So iPhone 8 and 8 Plus and newer. If you have any iPhone older than that, you won't be able to update to iOS 16. So the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, and the iPhone SE first generation, which were able to update to iOS 15, now won't be able to update to 16 anymore. So again, iPhone 7 and older, won't be able to update to the latest version. Now let's talk about my experience, which is extremely important if you're considering updating to iOS 16 beta. And overall, it's really good. Just like iOS 15 and iOS 14 and iOS 13, Apple is really making very consistent, very good beta updates. Even in beta one, which is the beta we are right now, it's overall really good. But of course, we have bugs, problems and apps crashing. For example, Safari, a ton of users are reporting problems in Safari, you just can't use Safari at all. In my case, I can use, but sometimes I'm getting some weird pop-ups. It's really strange, I've never seen this before. I have some apps crashing as well. It's not constant, it's not all the time, but sometimes some apps are crashing out of the blue, especially, and this is really, really concerning, mobile banking apps. And this is common as well due to their nature. So some of my mobile banking web uh, applications, I can't 
can't use at all. So I have to rely on the Mac right here, I can't use. So this is a deal breaker for most people. Social media is fine in iOS 15 and 14. It was really bad, sometimes unusable, but they are perfectly fine. I couldn't see any problems or bugs at all. That's a good point. And overall performance, as I mentioned, is okay. The iPhone is fast, is responsive, apart from those little problems and sometimes being in very specific situations unresponsive, but overall it's responsive and it's working. Uh, battery life is bad. Battery life is really bad. I'm getting almost like half of what I was getting in iOS 15. So it's really, really bad, which is expected. And I'm having a lot of heat as well on my iPhone. The back of my iPhone is constantly hot when using iOS 16. So when using absolutely anything, it's hot, which is really bad for the battery life in the long run. So my verdict here regarding upgrading, regarding installing iOS 16 beta is don't. Just don't do it unless it's your backup iPhone, you have more than one model and you just wanna use it for the fun of it, then you can do it. But if you just have one iPhone or your main iPhone, don't do that, especially right now in beta one. And my recommendation is exactly the same if you're talking about public beta because it'll just be available in a few weeks so it will probably be in beta 2 which will be unstable as well so i don't recommend updating immediately to the public beta as it's released just wait a little bit and the best thing to do is wait to the end of july and probably even better the beginning of august when we'll have like beta 4 much more stable beta versions and then it's a good idea to update before that it's a risk Unless you were a developer or you have a backup phone, I don't recommend doing that. So that's it, and I'll see you in the next video as usual. Bye-bye.